okay in this session i will talk about uh, powershell comments okay comments when i say comments uh, see whenever uh, you go and uh, look at a script or a particular code that has been written by the developer or the administrator or the devops team you look for a uh, little more additional details right when it was written and um, uh, what is the purpose of the script or the code and uh, you want to understand uh, you want to get some help in that particular file right and similarly if you are writing a code or if you're writing a script if you want to help others in understanding the script or the code better you have to use the comment okay so there are two different way of commenting things in the script or the code the first type is called the single line comment and the second one is called the multi-line comment okay we'll talk about this uh, in uh, details on uh, how this particular comment will uh, uh, can be used in powershell and uh, what are the use cases we'll also see um, some examples we'll see around 10 example and also we'll talk about uh, the best practices of uh, using the comments okay so let's dive into the topic okay so powershell is one kind of help to explain the code okay that is the number one thing and uh, you can also add a comment to any section of the powershell script like a comment okay there are uh, different ways on how you can add it so this is mainly for the scripter or uh, the new joiner to understand the code uh, or understand the script with uh, like a help example see when you go and um, want to understand the help in um, a particular service or a particular uh, command so you go and type help space get hyphen service or get hyphen process right see what it uh, provides when you uh, go and uh, execute the help command it provides you some details around how to use that particular command and what is the synopsis what exactly this command is going to uh, uh, help you with and uh, what is the syntax and some examples description and some kind of links to uh, go and refer more about that so similarly if you are writing some script or you are uh, defining your own function or if you're uh, writing a code then you have to have a better uh, uh, comment section that explains more uh, about your uh, script or code okay so this particular uh, set of examples are going to help you with that so the first option when you want to comment out a particular uh, line of code or uh, a line of uh, script okay then we use something called single line command so they call it as inline command okay we go and uh, comment the particular uh, line or uh, the particular uh, uh, set of lines using single line command so how do we do that we use uh, the hash symbol to comment out that particular line so you can either add it at uh, the beginning of each line or you can add it at the end of the line as well but the most of the best practice uh, it, it should be at the beginning of the line see for example uh, if you talk about single line comment it starts with ash here right so if you are uh, trying to get uh, rename a particular uh, item or a file or uh, so anything in uh, powershell is an item right either a file or a folder or anything is con considered as an item so if you want to um, call out what exactly this particular uh, uh, line is going to do you can provide that particular comment at the, at the end of the line so anything after the hash symbol will be ignored okay so powershell will not consider anything after the hash symbol so that's the thing okay so let me um, uh, see i'll just copy this so this is going to get uh, the details of uh, uh, the child items within the C drive, right? So if I, and I go and execute that, so let me clear the screen. Okay, I'll just copy this line item here. And if you look at uh, the color code, PowerShell automatically considers the anything after the hash symbol as a comment. So it will not uh, go and uh, include that in the execution or uh, it will not consider that. See, um, even though uh, I selected the entire line and executed it, it took the get child item and it listed what are the different folders and files with their uh, uh, additional details or properties has been um, um, uh, uh, returned. Okay, so you can add it at the end of the line or you can also use it at the beginning of the line. For example, if you are defining a function or if you want to um, 
clearly call out what exactly you are going to do you can um, um, uh, at the beginning of the function you can just say this particular function or the script is going to get some data from uh, your storage or uh, your uh, uh, system and so on okay you can also use it uh, like this example and uh, the third option you can also use the if you want to comment out a particular line in your uh, function or uh, in your particular for loop or in your code you can comment it out see if i go and uh, uh, just for an example i'm copying and executing it so if i add anything after the hash symbol it will uh, not be considered see let me go and try and execute this see it, it has just um, uh, uh, typed the command but no output it did not do any action because all the command uh command is after the hash symbol so anything after the hash symbol in the line will be ignored so this is what we call it a single line comment okay so if you look at here uh, i'll just execute this particular uh, code so there are people who write code in uh, uh, this way also there is um, no hard and fast rule that you should not do like this but if you look at the code here uh, in this particular for loop um, what they have done they have uh, taken up um, the liberty to go and define the comments in each of the line so this is the entire uh, set of code right so they have got um, once again so they've got uh, multiple lines of code they've got a for loop uh, defined here so what they have done they have mentioned that this particular code has got multiple line items and for each of the line item they have defined uh, some additional details so this code is used for printing the even numbers from 1 to 10 and even in some cases they have mentioned this particular block if block has a condition that checks whether the value of the variable is equal to zero and then execute it and similarly they are also checking whether the script is uh, i mean whether the number is divisible by two if yes then it will print out or it will not print okay let's try and execute this particular uh, uh, com, um, example okay you can see that there are two uh, blocks within the script okay just a second um, let me execute this one so the example output uh, that we are looking at so it, it should uh, display like uh, two four six and uh, eight and ten so the example that i'm referring here even within the script or within the code you can go and um, uh, comment out that particular uh, line and add what exactly this line is doing okay so this is one example that you can do and uh, let's move on to the multi-line comment okay so multi-line comment it, it starts with uh, um, the less than symbol followed by hash and then it uh, completes with uh, hash and then the greater than symbol okay if you are writing a particular uh, entire code uh, to do some activity for example in this example we are uh, trying to test the server connectivity and uh, using the win windows remote management win rm so this entire line will be uh, commented out okay so multi-line comment or uh, the block command they call it as block comment so it is uh, you can type a lot of things here and even the help system for your function or your code can be written using the multi-line comment so multi-line comment it starts with less than symbol followed by hash and then it completes by hash and greater than symbol okay so if you look at uh, the example below okay so um, uh, multi-line commands so see uh, if you want to exclude a particular for loop or a while loop you can use this particular uh, less than symbol followed by hash and then you can complete that particular hash and uh, less than symbol see even uh, there is one more uh, important information if you use a single hash here definitely it will uh, exclude the complete block or it will not uh, uh, execute this complete block because you have a hash at the beginning of the block but um, there are some um, uh, additional errors you might uh, get so in order to avoid this i think uh, in uh, powershell version until powershell version 2 we used to have uh, uh, the way of writing like this okay we used to go and add uh, hash in front of every line 
so that is that will be very tedious and uh, it will not work out right i mean it will work out but then um, it it uh, it it's not uh, easier so um, this this way of writing the multi line command or the block command um, is is uh, much easier and uh, this is the way you have to do it right now okay so the whole code or the few lines of code can be commented even uh, nowadays we are writing the help system um, using the multi line command so let me just go and show you some example here so in general okay if you want to write a help system for your code or your function so there are some examples that um, you can follow or some best practice you can follow so all your uh, uh, see you can have the help system written in uh, example like this you can have a synopsis you can have a description you can have an example see any documents that you go and write it will have uh, some kind of uh, structure to it right so you can have the parameter you can have uh, uh, the inputs output and uh, that is how uh, even microsoft themselves have written the help system right so if you uh, look at the help system uh, here so we were uh, talking about the help system for get process uh, a while back or get service so if you look at here they have also written uh, the help system uh, similar uh, to how i am explaining what is the name of the function what is the synopsis what kind of syntax it supports what are the examples so similarly when you go and write a function or a code you can have these sections in your document so these are some um, um, examples or uh, guidelines from microsoft but then um, you don't have to follow all these things mandatory but again um, there is also no, uh, no hard and fast rule on how to uh, write it you can have the parameter above and then examples at the last you can have the input output at the beginning you can have uh, these things uh, 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 like ordered in uh, any ways so it, it will support it so just for an example i'll show you how to uh, have a similar function written so um, this is example uh, of how to go and check the uh, remote port on a system so i'm writing a function so this should have a very meaningful name so we are testing the remote port on a group of system and if you look at here on the synopsis i'm telling this function is to test the remote port and in the description i'm saying uh, what are the remote computers it is going to check and uh, some couple of examples and uh, the parameter will be the computer name and uh, the port will be the uh, another parameter uh, that that we are using here so the input will be the list of computer names and the output will be the answer whether the remote port is responding uh, true or false okay so this way you can uh, this is the only line that you are going to execute but then you have a very detailed uh, information on what exactly that particular line of command a line of uh, code or a line of script is going to um, perform okay so this way your script will look uh, very meaningful and uh, this is the way you uh, we have to generally write it so that, that that's the way we can help others to understand the uh, code for any programmer see not just uh, uh, powershell right any programming language or any scripting language uh, you take you have to give the comments in, uh, uh, in in as a documentation right just like uh, any other programming or scripting language you can give the comments in powershell for documentation purpose and it can act as a help system for uh, others who are going to uh, use that particular code okay so let me um, show you one more example here see uh, in, in there is also one more important practice that you can do okay when you go and uh, write the command or uh, write the code or script so uh, i have just given it right see for example when was the last update that i made and uh, who wrote the script and then uh, what how when it was executed uh, and then which operating system uh, supports it or which powershell version it supports it and um, what is the version number for this particular uh, powershell script or code so that way uh, your script is very meaningful and uh, it, it has got uh, detailed information okay so let me go go and show you uh, one more examples on uh, how you can write the help system see this function is going to get the disk related information from multiple machine so what is the synopsis it is to get the disk details from multiple systems so what is the description it is going to get the disk allocation from the servers 
and you can also give one example or two examples or multiple examples as you want and you can give the inputs what it is going to fetch and uh, the output and some kind of general nodes and component see this is one example uh, that i was uh, referring to okay and uh, let me show you a few more examples before we get into uh, uh, the best practices so multiple line code it starts with uh, less than symbol and hash and then it en ends with hash and uh, the greater than symbol at the end of the last line so single line commands it just has only the hash but then the multi-line comment it starts with uh, the symbol and then it ends with a combination of hash and greater than symbol okay it can be 10 lines or 20 lines or whatever lines you want to uh, uh, do it you can um, have it uh, executed okay so let me show it see I'm, I, I hope you guys are able to follow me see for example when i say get dive and date see this is going to um, execute and provide me the report answer right so if i add any hash here this is what we call it a single line uh, comment right even though the comment command got executed it did not provide any result the reason is anything after the hash will be ignored in powershell okay and if you want to have multiple lines of code um, in powershell uh, commented so you have to use this way the less than symbol followed by uh, hash and i can just show you an example okay so you have multiple lines of code and uh, at the beginning of the line you will have uh, the hash followed by uh, less than symbol and then you can give hash followed by greater than symbol the entire block will be ignored so this is what we call it as comment block even you can select uh, the entire block and delete it okay this is called multi-line comment and multi-line comment are useful in um, uh, mentioning the details help system and uh, it will also give you uh, a kind of uh, detailed information like who is the author what is the script version where exactly the script is stored the latest version of the script and then uh, you can also give uh, uh, the the actual uh, ac uh, actual uh, uh, function or the code at the very beginning i mean at the very end so you can see that um, i've written the code here I, I want to get the list of servers in the uh, array or in, in the file and i'm trying to stop the print polar service or the polar service and um, uh, getting the output and you can also clearly write some more help system on who is the author when it was written and so on okay so um, this is what uh, we generally do you can also use the shortcut uh, alt plus shift plus a if you type this in uh, visual studio code uh, it will uh, enable a multi-line comment so this is there is a shortcut to that as well and uh, yeah so these are the two different things on how you can do a comment in summary there are two ways of commenting in PowerShell. One is called single line comment. You can use the hash symbol at, uh, even at the beginning of the line or uh, at the end of the line. So this is what is going to uh, comment out that particular, uh, sorry, that particular uh, line. Okay, similarly, you can use uh, a multi-line comment, less than symbol, hash, followed by uh, the comments, and then hash followed by the greater than symbol so this is the multi-line comment okay you need not have anything it can be any text here okay so these are the two different ways of commenting so let's talk about some best practices while you do the commenting okay so uh, never use line number in the comment because um, uh, i've seen people uh, adding uh, line number uh, in the help system and when they write it uh, definitely like they might uh, think that uh, this code is never going to change or whatever but if, if it is really true statement then uh, you can add line numbers that this line is for uh, this particular uh, um, uh, function or this is what is going to do uh, and you can have it uh, like that but then uh, uh, sometimes if someone changes the code then uh, people will struggle to understand uh, uh, the numbering and uh, it, it, will, it will convey a different meaning and also do not add comments at the end of the script in general the reason is like um, uh, people uh, uh, generally skip 
uh, anything uh, that is written within the code or uh, at the end of the line so always try and add uh, at the top of the uh, code even um, see uh, don't add the comments at the end of the line as well as don't add the comment at the end of the script so people generally read the script or the code from top to bottom if they have uh, something uh, um, at the end they might uh, just open it and then they might skip it right so avoid comments if not needed see there might be straight forward code or script that you have written and uh, if you are adding too many lines it's simply uh, a waste of time and also it's uh, not going to add any um, additional value so you, you are just making the code a longer one and people will feel uh, uh, it, it it's conveying a lot of unwanted things so if the code or the script is self-explanatory you don't have to do any comments or you don't have to add any additional uh, um, help system there so definitely command based help for functions and scripts are mandatory or it's, it's a good practice to do so as i told you add as much as information if it is a complex code or if it is a complex script add all the details uh, that that can help uh, the new joiner or help the other team members to understand uh, how they can execute the syntax or how they can execute the uh, function or the code or you can just give uh, uh, as much as information for uh, better understanding okay so uh, these are the five uh, best practices uh, that you can follow when you uh, uh, use the comments in your uh, powershell script so there are two type of uh, comments single line comment which is hash multi line comments which is uh, inside the block single line comment is also known as inline comment multi line comments are also called as block comment okay thank you for listening